Welcome back to another video of Network Engineer Academy. And as you know, my name, Jorge Armando Navarro. And in this video, what I'm going to do, I'm going to talk about what's the big difference between someone, an IT engineer that gets paid 40K to another engineer that gets paid 100K and more. And I know what's the big difference because I've been talking to many people they are making, yeah, like about 30, 50K per year. And I'm talking also to successful IT engineers. They are making 100K and more. And you will be amazed And what's the big difference between those two. Because it's not about, you know, oh, yeah, you know, probably someone is making 100K is because he has a, a bachelor's degree. And yeah, probably has a master's degree. Or probably it's been working in the IT for about 20 years. But let me tell you, I know many people that I've been talking to for the past few weeks, they've been in the IT for five years, 10 years, and they're making 40 to 60K per year. So obviously, that's something going on right there, right? Because, I mean, I'm guessing, and I know because they told me, of course they wanna make 100K, but what's stopping them for them to reach that level, right? And I know other people, they're making 100K and more. They've been working in the IT for about five years or less. And they're making 100K and more in the IT field. So what's the big difference between those two, right? So that's exactly what I'm going to talk about right now for you to focus on the information or the content that I'm going to provide to you so you can make the difference, okay? So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to have someone right here and let's say... This engineer, it's making 40K per year. And that one right here, okay, it's making 100K or more. So what's the big difference between these two IT engineers? And one of them that has nothing to do with technical is the standards, standards. The standards that they have for themselves about their life, about their IT career, you know? And in this case, the people that I talk to, they have poor standards or just kind of like good standards. And the standards will, will define where you're gonna end up in life. Your standards, once again, will define where you're gonna end up in life. And also, in this case, in your IT career. And when I talk to um, IT engineers and making over 100K, I mean, the standards that they have for themselves, for their life, for their IT career, it's extraordinary standards, you know, about good. So that's the main reason where you need to focus on right now. You need to change, you know, your standards. Because once again, this is one of the main reasons that you are not making 100K. And if you've been working in the IT for the past few years, I mean, that's something that you need to, that for you to change. Something has to change. And one of them is for you to analyze what are the standards that you have for yourself and for your IT career. Because once again, your standards will define where you're gonna end up in life and in your IT career. So you need to take a look, what are the standards that you hold for yourself? And you need to raise those standards so you can reach this level. Because once again, it's not all about the education. You know, it's not all about um, being technical, about you know having a lot of years of experience. And probably that was working 10, 20 years ago. But in today's market, there's many ways for you to, or areas that you can focus for you to accelerate the process. And one of them is for you to analyze the standards that you have for yourself and raise those standards, okay? Now, the second one between these two IT engineers, and that's gonna be the beliefs that they have for themselves. You know, what are the beliefs? that you have about yourself and about your IT career. Because I remember years back, my belief was, well, it had, if I don't have a college degree and if I'm a high school dropout, obviously that's no way for me to get a badass position, you know, in the IT field. I mean, I love technology, but 
I have to get a bachelor's degree, you know, or at least have my GED or something, right? That was my belief. And also, you know, English. That's not my first language, as you can probably tell by now. So that was, those were my beliefs. You know, I'm not going to be good enough for me to get a badass job in the IT field and to eventually, you know, probably, I mean, it was not in my uh, um, thinking that I will be able to get 100K or more. But once I went through that process and once I changed that belief that I have about myself and also that belief that I have about my IT career, guess what happened? It completely accelerated my IT career and I was able to get results because now once you have that belief, you're going to make the right, you're going to take the actions that are required for you to get those results. So you can learn a lot of the technical information. You can get as many certifications as you want and you can go to school and you can do all these things that people probably are telling you right now. But if your standards are poor or low, right? And if you don't have that belief within you, nothing is going to happen or it's going to take you years and years. Why? Because if you don't believe that that can happen to you, you're not going to take the actions that are required for you to get the job or the results that you are looking for in your IT career. And once again, I've been talking to many people in the IT field because I love when I get feedback about or any type of information, insights about their IT career. You know, I mean, why you been in the IT for seven years and you're making like 50K? I mean, don't you think that's something going on right there? I mean, I know someone, they already talked to a few people, they're making over 100K and they've been in the IT for about five years. Oh, it's because I don't have a bachelor's. Oh, it's because I don't have a master's degree. Oh, it's because probably I don't have a lot of hands-on experience. No, 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 no. Those are beliefs that you have, that you need to have those things. And you're really not. Once again, I'm a high school dropout, okay? I'm barely able to speak English, but that didn't stop me. And why? Because I believe, I changed my beliefs that yes, I can make something out of myself and I can make shit happen. Why not? I just need to, I just need to focus on the areas, right? And do the hard work, like really work on it for me to get the results that I was looking for in my IT career. And eventually, from here, I went to here. And that's exactly what you need to do now. Once and final, once you raised your standards, right, to a higher level, and once you change that belief that you have about yourself and you know that belief that you have about your IT career, what's missing right there? Because that's another thing that you probably need to do. And that's basically for you to become valuable, valuable to the marketplace. Okay, that's a big difference too. You know, the value that you put on the marketplace, okay? I mean, a lot of people say, you know, I get paid $20 per hour. No, you don't. You get paid by the value you're putting on the hour, and that value is $20. So you don't really get paid $20 per hour. It's the value that you put in on the hour. It's completely different for you to fix a computer, right? Uh, or some issue on the, uh, on, the, on the PC of the end user than for you to manage a network, right? I mean, the computer goes down, yet yeah, the user is going to call you, hey, fix my computer. If the network goes down, you're not going to have the end user calling you, right? You're going to have probably the IT director. You're going to have the VP, the CEO calling you, hey, what's going on? The network is down. You're the badass senior network engineer. You know what's going on. So it's the value that you're putting on the hour. And that's one thing that you need to think about. You know, what's the value that I'm putting in on the marketplace? And if you don't have that much value to offer, obviously you're not going to get paid as much as you wanted to. Now, that's a lot of people in the IT community that they're all over the fucking place. Oh, I'm going to learn this. I'm going to learn that. Oh, this new thing come up. Oh, I'm going to learn this too. But at the end, they don't have any results. Why? Because they're all over the fucking place trying to learn everything, trying to get any other certifications. No. What I learned from these people, from the people that are making 100K and more, is you need to focus only on the areas or on the topics. They're going to get you the results 
that you are looking for in your IT career. And it's enough for you to be all over the fucking place. I know you're probably thinking that you're making some progress because you're learning a lot of or little of everything. But at the end, you know, you're going to get paid good. Just probably three, four things that you know how to do best. You know, and once again, I go back to the value. So how much value are you putting on the marketplace? You know, recruiters, HR departments, IT managers need to see, I mean, they need to look at you and see, you know, how much value or asset this, uh, uh, the IT, this IT engineer can offer us and our company and our department. So you need to focus on that, okay? The more value you have, obviously the more money you're gonna get. And that's one of the big difference. Okay, this IT engineer has more value to offer. Okay, and this one not. And this one, another team. This one, they have that, this process. And I know because I've been talking to a lot of you, they have this process of, you know, they're uh, IT engineers with many reasons and why things that not happen to them. This one right here, they're in results. They focus on results and how can I make this happen? This one and all the reasons why it's not gonna happen. So I go back again, you can learn a lot of technical information, but, but if you don't have that uh, mindset of a winner, of a badass maven, IT engineer, you're gonna get, I mean, you're, gonna get, you're not gonna pass uh, uh, that range, 40, 50, 60K. Now, if that's okay with you, that's fine. But I've been talking to many people that are at this range and they're not happy. They're looking somewhere to move here. But if you don't change the way that you process information, that go, the way that you go through your IT career, the way that you think, your mentality, you know, you're going to be here with many reasons of why things are not happening to you. Because in this case, they have that mentality, that, yeah, I'm going to create results. And I'm going to do what it takes to make that happen. And I go back on the standards that they have, the beliefs that they have for themselves, and the value they can offer and the marketplace. And that's exactly what you need to focus on. So make sure you watch this video all over again because this can completely change the way that you're, not, that, you will, that you're gonna pursue your IT career. So until the next video, I will talk to you soon.